What is crack and boys and girls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So yesterday, EA Sports uh, gave us a little update on the new star rating system, explaining everything, and they've also um, given us the first, the top 50 fighters from 50 to 41, and over the next 10 days they're going to start releasing all the way up until number one. They're probably going to release it in tens. But yeah, we're going to give uh, this a little read through. Not all the way because it's quite wordy and I don't want to bore you guys with it. And then we're going to have a look at a little look at the um, 50 to 41 fighters that they have put on the website. So UFC 4 has re-envisioned the way players will view fighter overalls. Every fighter in the game will now be given a star value of 1 to 5. This will serve as a representation of their overall ability in the game. In addition to the overall star rating, each fighter will also have a star rating for their stand-up, ground game, health, and moves. So there's going to be, they'll have their overall star rating, and then four, I guess, mini star ratings as well for each of these four things. This change will allow players to quickly observe and determine a fighter's strengths and weaknesses in specific areas without focusing on a single numerical overall. I kind of like the overall, to be fair. I thought it was, uh, it was good, but okay. This allows for a better assortment of fighters when playing online or against friends on the couch. For returning users and advanced players, you can examine a fighter's individual attributes, values, as numbers. This will help you determine who is the highest punch power or highest kick speed in each division and allow comparisons of individual attributes on each fighter. So I don't really know what to think about this because for someone like Kamaru Usman, surely because he's a champion and his game is grappling, surely you put him as a number five. But is his ground game or his is his grappling as good as like, I don't know, Habib Nurmagomedov, who is undoubtedly going to be a five star too. So yeah, I'm not too sure on that. But going down a bit, new attributes. We've expanded the attribute system to accommodate new gameplay features as well as allow for a more realistic representation of diverse fighting styles that can be seen in the UFC. Here are the new attributes. So they've got punch speed, kick speed. Punches and, kicking, punches and kicks are split in terms of their speed. Okay, so someone's kicks and their punches won't be... Uh, like their striking speed as a whole won't be exactly the same. Like someone's punches may be faster than their kicks. Like someone like Conor McGregor whose punches might be faster than his kicks. Or someone like Edson Barboza whose kicks are like probably the fastest in the game. Uh, probably aren't as fast as his hands because he focuses quite a lot on his kicks. Punch power, kick power, punch and kicks are split in terms of the damage they cause. It's basically the same as the top one but instead of speed it's damage. So, uh, yeah, like uh, giving the example of Conor McGregor again, his kicks, he doesn't really ever finish people with kicks unless you um, class uh, Chad Mendes as finishing him with a kick. But, yeah, his punches are definitely a lot uh, stronger in his arsenal than his kicks are. Clinch striking, supporting the brand new clinch system. That, that sounds really good. And from the trailer, it looks awesome as well. Ground striking, support the new brand, new ground and pound system. I'm also really excited to look at that as well. Cardio replaces strike stamina and ground stamina. Okay, so they've changed um, the word stamina into cardio now. So every player will have a uh, cardio rating. And recovery replaces heart and toughness. Okay, that, that sounds pretty awesome to be fair. I think they've, or hopefully they've got their head screws on about this uh, about this game. The Conor McGregor doesn't look too good, but yeah, fingers crossed. I've got it pre-ordered, so hopefully it's uh, gonna be good. Top five moves. The top five moves for each fight will be viewed on a fighter select screen. Players will be able to view which moves each fighter specialises in or has the highest move level for. You can also view the inputs required to use those moves during gameplay. Oh, so that's awesome. So you can basically 
look when you're choosing the fighter at what move, what their top five moves are, and then you can also see the controls of how to do each of these moves so you're not clueless and you're not like going through the match looking at how to do one of these moves. This allows for insight on your opponent's moves as well. That as well. Live attribute and move updates. In UFC 4, we designed the attribute system to be more organic and allow fighters to improve decline through in-game updates depending on the results in their real performance or performance in the real world. Following major UFC events, a fighter update will be released on UFC 4 with new attributes and move updates. For fighters, I'm really, really excited about this because they were really lazy. I think the last time they bloody updated someone was maybe after the Khabib Connor fight. They updated like the ratings. Um, I know, I think Cody Garbrandt, he started with 94 striking, they've taken him down to 93, and then they moved up. Uh, TJ Dillashaw from 93 striking to 95 but yeah it looks like they're going to be a lot more like on the ball now with uh, updating fighters which is going to be really good because like if someone's just come out of the blue like Hamzat Chimenev or Chimeyev like he, if they put him in the game like 10 days ago he would have been like a B-class fighter but now everyone's jumping on the bandwagon he'll be he probably won't even be in the game but if he was he would be updated straight away. Uh, and then there's a whole thing here. And I've read this quickly. And this basically just says about the A grade. 95 overall would be an A plus grade. 92 to 94 overall fighters will be like an A grade. And so on. Just like in UFC 3. Um, there's also a way of... So they have the star, they have the stars, but you can also go back to the old system and actually look at the numbers on their overall and their abilities as well. There's a way of that, doing that that is mentioned there as well. So without any further ado, let's have a look at the uh, top 50 fighters leading down to 41. If it comes up. Okay, more fighters are being revealed and added every week, so check back often. Okay, so number 50, we have Darren Till, who's a male middleweight. He's four-star overall. He has 4.5-star in striking, 3.5-star in grappling, and his health is four-star. Okay, where's the cardio, though? I thought they had a cardio as well, or maybe not. Number 49, we have Paolo Costa, male middleweight. Four star overall, same striking as Darren Till. His grappling is three star and his health is 4.5 star. I disagree with this grappling already because Paolo Costa is a really good grappler. He's actually a high level black belt in Jiu Jitsu, which Darren Till isn't. So, yeah, I do disagree with that already. Moving on, number 48 with Anthony Rumble Johnson, male light heavyweight, four star. Five star striking, grappling overall is 3.5 star, and he has four star health overall. I don't know, is he going to be like as part of the Legends pack, or is he like going to be an active fighter on this? Because uh, one thing I r really actually pissed me off about UFC 3 is that they put Ronda Rousey, but they made her a legend, even though she's only been retired, she, by that time she was only retired for like a year or two. And they made her record 12-0 and when it's 12-2, and but they wanted to do a Ronda Rousey before she lost, which is absolute bullshit. Absolute bullshit. That's, making, that's like making Darren Till like a legend before his three losses to make him 17-0. and No, I wasn't happy with that. Anyway, 47. Dominic Reyes, male light heavyweight, four-star overall, 4.5-star striking overall. Grappling overall, 3.5 star, and his health is 4.5 star. Well, uh, I do like Dominic, Dom Dominic Reyes, actually. He's a really awesome fighter. He, and he got robbed against uh, John Jones, so he deserves to be high up there. Cody No Love, next. 46 rank, male bantamweight. 
4 star overall, 4.5 star striking, grappling overall was 4 star, and his health is 4 star too. I wonder what his chin strength is though, it would be quite cool to look back at that. Anyway, number 45, may have seen it there, Tatiana Suarez, the fe female straw weight, overall 4 star, striking overall 3.5 star, grappling overall 4.5 star and health overall 4.5 star. Moving it down to Dustin the Diamond Poirier at number 44. Male lightweight, 4 star overall. Striking overall, 4.5 star. Grappling overall, 4 star. And health overall, 4.5 star. 43, here we go. Ronda Rousey. <laughs> Female bantamweight, overall 4 star. Striking overall, 3.5 star. Eh, probably shouldn't be that good. Like, if Paolo Costa's grappling and he's a black belt, he's three star, should her striking be 3.5 star? Well, I guess not for me to judge. Grappling overall, 4.5 star. And health overall, 4.5 star. I don't know about her being... I don't have a prob problem with her being in the game because she obviously is a legend. I don't know, not for me to judge. Anyway, moving on, we have number 42, Rafael Dos Anjos. Male welterweight, 4.5 star overall. So we're moving up now from the four stars. Striking overall, four star. Grappling overall, 4.5 star. And health overall, 4.5 star. I, I'm not really sure about this. There's a few people I see up here that should be ahead of Rafael Dos Anjos, I think. But I'll talk about that in a minute. Number 41, last on the list, is the good old boy from England, Leon Edwards. Coming in at number 41, male welterweight, 4.5 star overall, 4.5 star in striking, 4 star in grappling, and 4.5 star in health. So yeah, um, yeah, I'm not really sure about this Rafael de Sanders one, because... He's had quite a few losses recently. I know he beat Kevin Lee, but yeah, it's it's like he's on the decline in his career, and I think there's plenty of people here that could be ahead of him. For example, Cody Garbrandt, Dominic Reyes, definitely Paolo Costa, uh, maybe Darren Till, potentially. If not, Darren Till will be like in a similar range. But yeah, Leon Edwards, it's a good uh, good place for him. Obviously, these aren't even in the top 40 of all fighters on the rankings. Not rankings, uh, the roster. But, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much everything, guys, for today. I'm going to keep doing updates on this. I'm going to do number 40 to 31 in my next video and keep going all the way up until number one, where, I don't know, maybe Conor, Conor McGregor will be number one. But, yeah. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like the video down below and you subscribe if you are new. Leave a leave a comment if you enjoyed the video too. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video coming whenever they decide to update the um, website again. Adios amigos!